This is Trigger Point, episode four. My name's Serena, and sitting across from me is my co-host, Peter. Hello, Peter. Hi, everyone. So, okay, we are back from our holiday. Uh, <laughs> As you can hear from, you know, the much better sound quality. <laughs> we are back in our studio. Ta-da! <laughs> I wouldn't say the sound quality in the last one was terrible. I mean, did you even listen to it? Yes, <laughs> I did. I did. I so did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it? It was noisy. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, but it was still noisy. <laughs> yeah, our, our devices really do pick up a lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's it they 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 muffle it in a way. Yeah. Right. No, I, I think the good thing was it was noisy, but it, it, it was actually background. Like it, yeah, it, it was wasn't very overhauled. yeah, it was it was very clear that you can still hear our voice. That was the main thing, and and the background was just there yeah yeah <laughs> but you couldn't help but notice the background like in some respects sometimes when they cranked up the music it was <laughs> no, <obvious. right? laughs> it's like all of a sudden it's like it's fine it's fine it's like whoa wait 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 why is there <laughs> this loud music of all of a sudden anyway yeah <laughs> so anyway but as you this time it's you know back in our normal studio so we have much more Control. control. <laughs> yeah. And we are finally talking about Stranger Things. Yes, we are, since I finally managed to find time to watch it. <laughs> and I think we should mention from this point on that if you haven't watched the show, you... Well, I really shouldn't say that, but we... You shouldn't listen. <laughs> Stop listening right now. <laughs> Go and watch, Go and the, watch show. the show. <laughs> it's, it's only a few... Well, Eight, Eight episodes, episodes, so yeah. it wouldn't take you that long. I really recommend watching this show without knowing anything about it. Like, you know. It, it, it's kind of hard to... I went into it without knowing anything. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, yeah I mean... Oh, but before we go and start talking, actually, about um, Stranger Things, I just want to mention to everyone that I did the Tough Mudder over the weekend. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay, I um, thought you were just training for it. Is it already... Done. done and done and dusted. Oh, okay. Went and been and got ourselves all muddied and. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get electrocuted? No, I didn't. <laughs> so there was a part where you could get electrocuted. Yes. Sorry, this was just something I've heard. I I don't actually yeah, know too yeah, much so, about it. Um. Yeah. Uh. There is the electrocution. There is the live wires part. Um. But because I actually, to be fair, I only did the half matter, so I only did the ten k course with half the obstacles, oh, and okay. the half the and the obstacles that we missed were the ones that I was really dreading. So I was really glad for that. <laughs> what was one some of the, the stuff that you missed? Um, one of the well, I, there was ha- quite a few that we missed. We uh. missed half the obstacles, but the two that I was really dreading one was called Arctic Enema. Uh-huh. Ba- basically, you you know dive into this ice cold Ooh, water uh-huh. and then you have to jump in and go under this board and go up the other side um i really dreaded that because it wasn't particularly like it wasn't cold but it wasn't particularly hot either so no. if, if over I, the weekend no it wasn't it if wasn't we had warm. to do the if we had to do the arctic anyway, that would have been torture <laughs> because it would take me forever to warm back up yeah so that one was i was really dreading and the other one was the electrician the uh, live wire um <laughs> I was really nervous going into the live it. Live wire, you just had to be in the mud underneath it, right? No, 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 no. You, it, that's, there's actually no mud underneath. You just run through dangling wires. Oh, you. So you do get zapped. There's no yeah. way around it. Well, well, you can crawl, but you see everyone just run through it. Oh, jeez. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, so I. Anyway, we didn't do those two, so I'm kind of really glad. But I finished every obstacles in the half matter, so uh-huh. I was really proud of myself. Congratulations, uh, <laughs> my uh, my colleagues who I went with. Um, I think the next one only did like half of them, <laughs> <laughs> so he did a quarter of it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is. Insight. Now that I've done it, and I am going to do the full Tough Mudder next year now. Okay. Um, we've already bought the tickets, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're totally going to do it next year. And we're going to train much harder this time. All I want to say is if people who are interested or, or were thinking about but kind of put off because of like just the fear factor, I guess, um, don't worry. There's a, The thing is with Tough Mudder, a lot of people help you. Um, uh-huh. that's the thing with Tough Mudder you're, you're trying to help each other so okay. um, and most of these guys who are like you know you know really strong they'll be will- more than willing to give you a boost and, and lift you up and, and stuff and toss you over and toss you over <laughs> toss you over walls <laughs> like a sack <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah it's it wasn't actually as bad as I thought I was because I didn't 
train for this, unfortunately, because <laughs> okay. I was overseas having a holiday instead. Yeah. <laughs> we were training. You know how hot it was over there? We were walking around <laughs> and the bad air, like you, we were barely breathing oxygen. <laughs> it was all just carpet. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I didn't train at all for this. And so initially I was like, oh, this isn't going to be good. I'm going to have a lot of trouble. But... I was surprised myself. Like I managed to, you know, do all the obstacles. Uh, or I didn't run all that much. I kind of walked. Oh, a lot okay. Of the because game. I was wondering about that. <laughs> I hate running, so running was always going to be my Achilles heel. But hey, I was I was actually more than happy to like you know say, oh, let's do a bit more running. It was my other colleagues who were like, no, nah, let's just walk this. So I I feel justified. <laughs> anyway, um, as long as you finished it, I guess. Yeah, and we finished and we had a great time. Um, it, it's. There's just something quite. Look, I'm I'm a pretty clean freak at, okay. at times, but there's something quite I don't know interesting when you when you just get yourself completely muddied and and you just don't give a shit about like ah whatever I'm because the first first obstacle that you're going is called the mud mile. Basically, uh-huh. you 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 first thing you do is roll yourself in mud. Yeah, I know what you mean. And because so, one, once you get to that point, it's like, well, I'm just covered yeah. anyway. So it's kind of like, oh well, you know, that's my day, I guess. So um, well, whatever. <laughs> nothing can be worse, right? You can't get any dirtier, right? Well, no, it's <laughs> it's man-made mud, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's not really that dirty. Like oh, yeah. they made the dirt and the mud for that situation. Yes. It's not like out in the paddock somewhere and you don't know what's been mixed in it. Yes. Well, well actually, no, because we're to, because we went for farm. It, oh, it was a farm. Geez. It was a oh no, it's a farm. It's like a vineyard, uh-huh. um, but you had to go for one of some of the back country area, uh-huh. which was pretty fertile. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, so um, but yeah, I, I for people who are interested and and are thinking or on the fence about it, I definitely highly recommend it, and it's not as bad as you think it'd be. I think the <laughs> the the most interesting thing there is the fact that you said. Running wasn't necessary. Yes, yes. You don't have to run. You can walk the whole thing if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, the, it's really not about, you know, getting, getting a first. great time. It's <laughs> about finishing it and just, you know, and helping people and, and you know, having, you know, try your best to actually do mm. all the obstacles. And, and to feel, I love the obstacles. The obstacles were really fun. Even if you have no upper body strength? Like, I don't have upper body strength. Uh, I have no body strength. Well... <laughs> 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 okay, you may need some minimal bo- upper body strength, but even if you don't, like a lot of people are willing to help. And you know, uh-huh. if you really can't do an obstacle, you can always bypass it. Oh, okay. You can skip it. it okay. that, that's the thing. Like they, they actually do tell you, like if you, you know, if you can't swim, don't try any of the thing that goes into water. Duh. <laughs> oh yeah, they're swimming, isn't it? Yeah. There? <laughs> um. So, fair enough. So yeah, it's not like um. No, once you're in, you have to do every single yep. obstacle. So, yep. everyone tries to do what they can and if yeah. you go to something that you're really uncomfortable you don't do it so okay. that's that's fine and but it's about i thought i was going to skip quite a few but in the end i did every one of them so and it, it's when your adrenaline's running and yep. you'll be like oh you know, i can do this and you did just, you wear a gopro on your head no <laughs> I you thought wouldn't. there's something I could watch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should do it next year. I might. Well, I mean, if you did it that way, then the next episode... Oh, and I should mention this now. All three episodes of Trigger Point is now available on YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was just thinking, if you had a video, then what we could, we could do... do is, on it. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. We'll just have that video running with us talking about tri- uh, uh, Stranger Thing over the top of it. So, there's something to watch while, we're, while you're listening <laughs> to us talk. No, but... Okay, anyway, that's... Just, I just kind of needed to share that with everyone about my, you know... I, I felt really proud, you know. It's one yeah, of those you things. Be, you should be proud. <laughs> Look, it's congratulations. A, it's, a, it's a it's it's tough, right? <laughs> tough, but <laughs> hence. Um, oh, anyway, back to back to our topic for today. Um, Actually, we had to do a little bit of a feedback from last episode, Arjun. Ah, yes. Well, well, two the- episodes ago. Was it last episode? Last episode we. Oh yes, last episode was the dispatcher. Oh yes. god, uh, memory. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, me and Peter were talking, and we want to say that um, we might have been a little bit harsh 
about with our judgment about Arjun. <laughs> and I think one of the reasons why is because we watched it two times. Mm. Uh, and I think the problem with watching anything twice or three times, or whatever, is you because you're highly critical on, yeah. uh, on the second run through. Yes. Because you already know the story. You already know about the twists and plots and anything yeah. that is it's going to be. not surprising. Be, yeah. So you're focused then. So what else are you, can you focus on? You focus on the things that kind of annoy, annoy you. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we did. Yes. And so we, we, we both enjoyed Arjun when we watched it the first time. Yeah. <laughs> it's just on second viewing, we got a little... Carried away with our... Uh, Critical <laughs> critiques of it. <laughs> yes, it wasn't. It wasn't say it was a bad show. It, it was a great show. I liked watching it, and I said I would watch the second season. But we, yeah, we we were probably harped on a bit too much on the things that annoyed us. Yes, and that was purely because um that was our second run through run through. Um, it, so we'll try. We'll try from now on to to do our recording after we've only watched it once. When I thought about this show, like, you know, originally when we said we were going to watch, uh, do Stranger Things, I was all for it because I only just recently finished watching it mm-hmm. at that point. Now, it's been months since then. And when I just thought back to, onto Stranger Things, I'm like, what can we talk about? Um, surprisingly, my mind went, not much. <laughs> I mean, no, I really enjoyed the show. Okay? I enjoyed the show when I watched it. It's just that with this show, uh, there's a lot of... Um, build up of um emotions or build up of of um it, it, it's, themes and yeah. uh, not not themes sorry uh <clears throat> I'm, I'm i'm blanking on the words here tension mm. there's a lot of build up of tension there's a lot of build up of of certain uh feelings and emotions uh but there's not actually anything happening it, it, it i i guess um Unlike a lot of uh, uh, TV shows um, nowadays, nowadays uh, where where you know each episode gives you a new kind of plot twist, or or, the, or, or each episode has a bit of a uh, reveal something, but then gives you more questions. Like in in, in Stranger Things, it's always just the same question. It's always the same question, but you're just layering upon that question yes. in itself. Um, so. There's there's less of a um like the, the question doesn't get resolved until literally At the, the last episode. Oh, well, you find out little bits. It slow. It reveals itself very slowly. Mm, very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and some people might not like it. I know some people who who just felt nothing happened. Well, it, it it is a bit. It does take a bit long to, um, to to get going. Anyway, yeah, the first episode was quite slow. I mean, the only th- way that this worked. I mean, they they laid a lot of questions yeah. in the first first episode. They mm. just piled you with all these questions, like, who are these people? Who's this girl? Mm. Where did that boy go? Oh, what's going on? What what is that doctor that got? What happened to that doctor that got yeah. taken away? Um, what is this? Did they show the portal in the first episode? No. no. This, this just give you like little hints of there's something wrong, something strange, and they make you wonder. Hmm. And I feel that with this show, it could have only survived. It could have only flourished on Netflix and in the way Netflix just releases all eight episodes at the same time hmm. because you need to binge watch this. Yeah. If you waited a a week before the second episode comes, I, I there's not enough. I don't think there's enough to the, pull you. I, I I think no not that there's not enough to it. There's not enough resolution in the next episode to kind of uh, satisfy to satisfy you because it, it you don't get satisfaction from each episode. No. Um each episode as you say just builds upon that same question. So yeah. you're you yes, you get revealed tidbits about it, but then it's it's more layering of oh, that yeah, same yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. So it, there's never any. You never feel like you're moving anywhere with this story. No. Um, there's enough the f- to keep me saying, "Oh, I want to watch the next episode." Yeah, and then I watch the next episode in a week's time, and it's like, I didn't, I didn't find out anything new. Mm. It would be. I I think I get a little bit annoyed. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree with that. Like, it, it's one of those things that. Yeah, it's right. You need you need to binge watch this in some respect. And, and also, the story only the story itself is only 
it, it got resolved in a matter of like a week, like a, it was it's what a, a couple of weeks, couple maybe. Of weeks, yeah. Um, like it's in a very story time. Yeah, in, in the sense that the whole show happens within like a week or two weeks time frame. Yeah. So it's not like this whole. It's not like this long drawn out uh, drama drama right? where you know takes you know. Where it makes sense for each episode to be a week in the in in the show world, yeah. in the world of the, in the show. Yeah. I mean, between each episode, you're probably talking about a few days or maybe hours past yeah. pass or even then. <laughs> like some of the episodes just immediately ends and starts yeah. like right next to each other. Like so, the episode when they were in the woods. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, in, in that in that respect, that's why it makes sense to binge watch it because then it seems it's more seamless. Yeah, it just flows. Yeah. Um, I I actually found it quite hard in in that respect because I had to stop watching it. You know, I think in between episode four and five. Oh, you didn't binge. I didn't binge this. I I, I yeah. I, yeah. I spent in, I I still binged, but just in two separate sections. Sections. Um. Even and even the short break in between was enough to kind of like you forget you forget oh not forget you you kind of felt like I I do you want to continue in, watching in, in in the sense that is this going to lead me anywhere like yeah. that's the that's the problem I think I had with this show if I think I had to be critical about it was that until the very last episode you never feel like they were going to res- resolve this in in this yes. in the in a satisfying um way, yeah. way <laughs> until the very end yeah. so the ending does res- resolve and it was very satisfying in in some respects um but yeah and until then you kind of go like oh, are they just going to leave it hanging no i think the <laughs> resolution was not so much in the ending but in the fact that these people finally got together <laughs> and finally talked and shared information because this is one of those stories where in a way it's kind of like heroes right you you start off with showing all these different people around this town and they um all kind of start noticing something strange is happening or or well it all started off with a kid miss getting um disappearing but everyone started experiencing things strange things around the, uh, around town and they're all getting little clues. And because we're the audience and we see everything, we're like, yes, that piece of clue right there, that thing that you just saw, <laughs> relates to this other thing that's happening to the mother over there. It, it's linked. It, now, if only you guys meet and talk, <laughs> you'd understand. But they don't. And you're watching this show episode by episode and you're finding more and more things out. And you're like, oh, like- for freak <laughs> sakes, people, talk to each other. And finally, in episode seven, I think it's in the middle of episode seven. Finally, they all... Converge, end up together. <laughs> and they talk to each other and they find out now this is the one thing though right it, I, I mean it was really satisfying for me that all these people got together and they finally talked to each other and they found out what's going on in saying that i don't know whether if they talked to each other earlier it would have made sense or it yeah, would have worked <laughs> i don't think it would have worked because it's only because they were bumbling around half blind that they managed to encounter these experiences or these things i I think if they met up too early they would have just that uh, even if they did share the information they probably would go like oh they could they would have passed it off anyway as in that that's they wouldn't have believed it yeah yeah. because uh, for those who well actually we told you you should be watching this you should watch the show before you listen to server i'm going to do spoilers now um when like the whole the whole point of of um the the sheriff uh, finally, you know, believing the the mother Joyce, yep. Joyce were it was because after he's seen all the stuff that's happened, yep. he's seen the cover up of the of the kid's body, and and he knows that okay, this is bigger than. I mean, think about how creepy that was actually. Like yeah. his face actually looked like that kid, right? Yeah. I mean, what kind of what kind of technology did they have back in the eighties where you could <laughs> recreate a human body? Yeah. And the only problem was that it was stuffed with cotton. Well, that's the thing. I was like, if they put so much effort into making the like that look so so real, real, you think that they do something more than just stuff it with cotton, right? Yeah, I have a feeling that that was more like they had to sh- somehow show that this was a fake body, yeah. right, to us as p- yeah. viewers. And what was the most obvious Easiest, thing, yeah. right? Because if they actually put like meat in yeah. there. Um, we might not have noticed, like yep. people, normal people who don't know what the inside of a body yeah, looks like, yeah, might yeah. not realize immediately that this was a fake body. Mm. What was the most 
obvious thing were white fluffy cotton yeah. <laughs> buds that he's pulling out of the <laughs> stuffing that he's pulling out of this body. Then you're like, yeah, okay, that's yeah. obviously uh, not supposed to be there. I think it's it's just a bit weird that you know, considering that if they had so great technology to make something so realistic, realistic, life, yeah. realistic but then to fail on something so obvious, obvious, it kind of goes like ah. But anyway, um, yeah, but it, 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 yeah, so. The, the sheriff wouldn't have believed... Well, the sheriff didn't believe Joyce when she first said all of... Well, you know, that's her because crazy... she was acting like a crazy person. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I... I... She, look, Winoa Ryder was great in here, right? Yeah. She really did that role. Like, that... I really believed it, mm. which I don't know whether it's her acting or just that she fits that role so well it, it's terrible for me to say that but she fit that role so well that it makes me wonder whether that's what she's like <laughs> In real I, life. I just can't like i mean it's terrible yeah. but, but that's what i think yeah i, I agree she was brilliant yes. um very very brilliant in, in saying that i think um in, in i think most of the cast that was very brilliant yes um i i i don't think there was really a poor performance um in no. the show like i think they there wouldn't different. there wasn't a anyone that you particularly go like oh he really was the weakest one out of them or or, no. or um may maybe maybe steve was a th- it's not the acting i have no, nothing yeah, wrong yeah, with, I, have yeah, no I think it was just his character that that, yeah. that made it less likable so you may you may just don't like him because of his character uh, and, and so i don't think it's his acting uh, even with his character i liked his character better than i like joyce's character only just because it was very frustrating watching her like <laughs> sure she's a mother she lost her kid she's mm. breaking down and that's fine um it just felt like at one moment she'll be very logical. Oh mm. yeah, we'll have blinking lights going by A to Z so that I could communicate with my kid. Mm. Um, there will be times when she's really tough and she will be knocking down a wall to try to get to her son. Mm. Um, there will be times when okay, she's viewing the dead body of her son and she's like, um, she he has a birthmark on his arm. Mm. Like he's she's logical, right? Yeah. I need to make sure I have all the facts here to prove that this is not my son's kid. Yeah, uh, this <laughs> is not my kid's body. Yeah. Um, but then there'll be times when she'll be like, "I I know I sound crazy, but I'm not right. I'm talking to my kid through these lights. You would reckon? Well, I don't know. I don't know because I'm not a maternal person. I I don't know, but for me, it feels like if you want these people to be on your side, if you want the authorities to help you, <laughs> you should sound at least a little bit sane. Um, make up some excuse, right? Say, I heard his voice over the phone, mm. right? Not say, I, I recognize his breathing. Mm. This is the 80s. Yeah. They don't have, they don't have um, a way to listen Tractical. in on your call. <laughs> they don't know whether you heard his voice or his breathing. <laughs> if you say, I, I recognize his breathing... It's very hard for the authorities to take you seriously. Mm. Whereas if you say, no, I heard his voice. Mm. I heard him call out to me. Yeah. Or like instead of saying that I knocked a hole in the wall because I <laughs> saw him there. Uh, you know, if you know these people aren't going to believe you, tell them a story that they will believe in. And then you go and do what you need. To go and find your son. Yeah, yeah. Police uh, aren't going to help you find a way into an alternate universe. I, I, I think though, um, I, I think though that's kind of um, how how would I put it? Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's hard for it's hard for her to to be logical. Be log- Well, no, to make things, especially look, given the the circumstance, like. She's just experienced all these things, which is out of the world. Like, and we are talking about, you know, this happens within like a two week period. She doesn't yeah. have time to, to kind of make up a, a, a story that's going to be believable in that time frame. You know, like it, it's, it's so, it's so quick. Everything happens so quick. Like, I, I I can see why she I, I agree though like it's a, it's frustrating because I'm like don't say that that's just gonna make you sound more crazy, crazy. but I can also see that in in, in her second generation, it, it's just happened too quickly for her to find some yeah. or, or find a way to explain it to the others without sounding crazy so yeah, um, yeah uh, I, 
Yeah, no, I get it. I, I totally agree with that. I feel like I ex- almost that, that's the other thing, though. I think there's, um, there's a there's a it, <laughs> there's a one good thing about this being set back in the eighties, um, mm. when you know, it's not so easy to just you know pull out your phone, just record everything, <laughs> yes. and record all the all these hap- Video strange of things, yeah, yeah. Whereas, because that's what you've. Look, that's what you do now, right? If you see anything, these weird shit happening, you'll take out a phone and at least have some sort of like evidence to show, look, I'm not going crazy. Or, well, or I, what I found really interesting was these kids have these walkie talkies that could reach so far. Like, <laughs> I mean, I actually looked it up and some people actually talked about it because it did show the, the, the model, not the model number, but the name yeah. of the walkie talkie. Mm. And people have said, oh yes, this one does have a certain range. They could actually talk to each other while they're riding their bikes yeah. around, around Town. the neighborhood. Yeah. And it's like, they have to have some way for these kids to communicate with each other. Yeah. For a 2016 audience, mm. we needed these kids to be able to communicate with each other via mobile phones, but there's no mobile phones back in the days. Yeah. So let's give them walkie talkies <laughs> that could that could have that range, yep. which makes sense. They were part of an AV club yeah, that, yeah. that they would have this stuff. Now I don't know whether that these kids would have the money to buy. Well, that's the thing. Like you, you're, well, I guess like one of the families weren't. I, I think Mike's family didn't look to be in in bad. bad. No, well, he had I a twenty-two inch TV. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think to further it was only Will's family that kind of looked to be in financial difficulty, right? Yeah. So if everyone else was in an okay situation, maybe and they only had one. They only had like three, didn't they? No, all oh, of them all, had all one. Had one of them. Yeah, one. that's how the sister. All oh, right, right. Them, yeah. But even then, I think you know, if if it was just one family that couldn't really afford it, then maybe they would still be able to buy it. I don't know. Ah, uh, just I was thinking probably if they saved up for a a, a few birth a birthday and mm. you know Christmas money. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's too uh, un. Believable. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm just, um, it's just, it was interesting that they had to give these kids mobile phones in a way just to make it, <laughs> because if they couldn't communicate, if they did it like the way normal kids did who didn't have access to walkie talkie, yeah. <laughs> they'll be forever leaving messages for each other at their, like at the house. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, okay. So in talking about the walkie talkie, I think we really should mention the fact that, well, this is, um, a show based in the 80s and I think they did a very very good job with the props <laughs> like the f- the phone the rotary phones the the beer can that the chief was drinking out of in the first episode like they did a close-up of it when he picked it up to drink now I'm not a beer person and I, I don't know what American beer looked like but I'm assuming that the reason why they focused on that <laughs> was because this was a beer that existed in the 80s. This is what the beer looked like in the 80s. And they recreated this can. So appreciate it for three seconds. <laughs> and they did that the same thing with a cereal box. And that looked like from the 80s. And I'm just wondering how much effort that the, the props department did in recreating these things. And when Joyce walks through the, the, um, the, the general store that she works at, I didn't actually do it, but I think I really should have, was to pause that scene when she was walking past the shelves <laughs> to just look to at all see the... <laughs> what's in the background. <laughs> because I'm sure that someone is anal enough to make sure all the, at least the boxes that were that was visible mm. showed things that, even if they might not have existed in 1983... Um, were at least in, in the, the 80s. 80s. <laughs> um, <laughs> and not like a 2016 version no, of it. <laughs> no, right? So I, 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 I really liked it. I mean, But I couldn't help wincing when the phone got blackened. Like it sparked. <laughs> and like I don't know whether it really died or not. But as a person who likes vintage things, um, not rotary phones per se... Uh, but when I see the destruction of vintage things, I can imagine that somewhere out there, um, there's some person who is interested in this stuff, who who does collect this stuff. They would wince and think there's one less one of these objects in the world for them to <laughs> collect. It's like how me watching Mad Men, Mad Men and um, Men, Mad? Mad, Mad, Men. <laughs> uh, and um, the guy picks up, a typewriter and throws it at the window and I'm like no that's one more <laughs> typewriter that we they just lost in this world they will no longer work because you threw it out <laughs> yeah, and I just it, it, it hurts <laughs> so when I saw the rotary phone getting destroyed like two was it two yeah two of them were destroyed like, oh god 
<laughs> um, yeah, and the number of cars that they had, like old cars. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the clothes. Yeah, I know. Everyone's yeah. clothes. <laughs> I mean, I know that we're that we had a retro phase, but <laughs> those jeans that Barbara was wearing. Oh my god, it went all the way up to him. <sighs> chest nearly i'm like those are those are <laughs> bona fide 80s pants um no I, I i'm just really impressed by their uh you know effort that they put in those things uh, i think one of the reasons why this show um ended up being so um popular or or, or, or it was so relatable in 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 one respect was because it did bring back a lot of that old nostalgia um mm. uh effect like Everyone remembers the the even if you were even you were an eighties uh, buff a buff or mm. but you would see things related to the eighties you remember things like even for us you know we were we were what one or two years well you were one year old I was, I I probably wasn't even born <laughs> when this show when this show in the world in, in, in this the time world frame, of this time yeah. frame. Um, but. You know about you know VHSs and and you know the whole um there's oh, there's really there's you know what I really would have loved to have seen in this show what? like one of the kids with the with a cassette tape with a pencil in it <laughs> and then do the rewinding <laughs> <laughs> for for people who haven't. Uh, experienced that before because you may have may not have even seen a VHS <laughs> no no the cassette cassette not a VHS oh, oh, cassette yeah, cassette yeah um, you used to that, that's how basically how you rewind a tape if you want to save the battery on your Walkman to play the tape you would you wouldn't want to waste the batteries on rewinding a tape. So you stick a pencil in the little circular thing. I don't even know how to explain it. If you don't know what a cassette tape is and you don't know what a pencil means to a cassette tape, I, there, there's no need to explain. It's, it's just a generation gap and leave it at that. Or you could Google it. I'm sure someone will help it will explain it to you. Um, but yeah, so I think one of the reasons why the show did so well was because it does bring back a lot of that whole... Um, 80s, uh, and it gets everyone gets a bit nostalgic about it, and 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 you know the whole show pays like a lot of homage to the old 80s sci-fi horror, um, which I never watched. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not. I was never big a sci-fi horror fan. Although someone did say that this move, this TV show, um, reminded them of um, the Coonies. Goonies. 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 Yes, Goonies. Yeah. Yes, and it does. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of other shows like Goonies, E.T., um, a lot of... Oh. Um, it, it's not very clear with... Uh, well, actually, it is pretty clear with E.T., I think. Um, there's a the lot of... The kid against authority thing? Yeah, and, and even no, even the lighting. Oh, you would find okay. a lot of the lighting is very similar in terms of the shading. Yeah. Um, and there's like... Uh, and a lot of Stephen King... Although I think with E.T. the lighting was because it was in that era, whereas this TV show had this lighting to make it look yeah, like yeah. that era. Yeah. Um, but but like, like the whole the whole Stephen King kind of um, all the all of Stephen King's books, all of his films, like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, kind of like links in this show okay. if, if you know it. So I, um, I know I only know some of them, but. Uh, there's a lot of people who are really into it. Mm. You can go online and, and have a look at people's side comparison. by side, side by side comparison of those, and they're quite good as well. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, even like the title screen, the oh, yeah, of Stranger well, Things, that's like a very typical uh, Stephen King novel font. Okay, put yeah. it that way. Um, and so yeah, it does it does a great job um, of doing that. And so yeah, I think a lot. Even though I don't like watching horror, um, to be fair, this probably wasn't... It wasn't so much a horror. Well, okay, probably it's the horror from the 80s. Yeah. It's not the kind of jump scare kind of horror from like, uh, I know what you did last summer. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, like it's more... It's more um, thriller? Yeah, yeah, thriller. It, it's suspense. It's suspenseful. Like, And I think that's what I can... I can handle that. Like, whereas, like I can handle suspenseful horror yep i can't do the jumping no horror no, no. Type of i can't show. do jump scares no <laughs> um but yeah so that yeah the the the, the, the thing <laughs> the show did a great job job at at you know bringing the whole 80s uh feel, feel into it so we mentioned how we liked renault riders 
character. Mm. Uh, acting, acting, not the character. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was another character that I found um, a little strange. Problematic might be too strong of a word. Mm-hmm. It's strange. Um, n- not consistent. Mm-hmm. I like L. I do. But I get a bit confused as to her mental age sometimes. Yeah, it, it it's it's interesting because like on one hand she seems really oblivious and really childish on yeah, like because she what, doesn't know what's promise. Yeah, like, what's, yeah. But she also seems to be able to like, understand a lot that's going on. Yeah, like how do you explain that the was it? Uh, upside down mm. that this and it's she's having a she's supposed to be maturing as the show goes but it's only like two weeks right mm. no, yeah how how quickly can you really learn learn all of these things and, and, and the thing is the show doesn't show her learning no it like if if we see her watching tv and learning the language yeah yeah then sure but she's hiding in 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 the house so she can't be going out. Well, she does, but like she, she, we don't see we her. don't see it, and so it's kind of hard to us for us to suddenly go from episode one where she's so like childish and 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 doesn't know anything to being kind of even to the point where it gets you would say she can start acting pretty normal. In, yes, in, at, yes. At, at like you know, in in the later episodes where you go like, oh, she's only a bit strange, but she's not the point where you go like she doesn't. It doesn't look like she's been you know kept hidden for like you know fourteen years of her life. And I would think that if you're trying to t- get this, you know, get this girl to uh, develop her ESP powers, you would have to teach her right. Mm. Normally, like certain concepts for her to understand how to do certain things, and the fact that you don't understand what promise means is a bit problematic for mm. me. Like that whole scene was problematic to me when he says promise, you know, I promise, and she's asking what's promise and his description his <laughs> explanation was promise is something you don't break <laughs> uh what's the something is it a <laughs> stick you don't break <laughs> like if you don't understand the word that description doesn't make any sense that, that <laughs> definition doesn't make any sense it makes sense to a 14 year old boy <laughs> but i don't think l should have understood that yeah given that she shouldn't have had those kind of vocabulary no. to begin with, like like friendship, <laughs> promise. That just doesn't exist in her world. No, I just it, it, so th- therefore it was a little bit inconsistent at the start of the show and at the end of the show. Just what she was, um, yeah, how she was portrayed. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, she did a great job. I, I really, I actually the funny thing is like throughout the whole show, like oh, not not throughout the show, but like. I I even if it was not specifically told in like the first episode where we first see her that she was a girl, I would think she was a boy. Ah. Oh. I I would I could not tell that she was actually a girl until the when she's first comes onto the and, and the and the guy the, the, chef. the chef goes um and specifically says, you know, uh, that say, that specifically mentioned that she's a girl or, or something along yeah, that yeah, line, yeah. right? I did not realize it because even looking at the preview and posters, you yeah, see, yeah, I, I always thought she was a guy. Like, I always well, thought she was a boy. No, like fourteen. <laughs> they don't have. If you shave off the hair, there's not yeah, much know, right? to tell. It, it, the it's, it, and it's funny how 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 hard it was for me to kind of notice that. Notice that. <laughs> I was like. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was, I couldn't help it, but I was like, oh, she's a boy? I mean, she's a girl? Huh, okay. Um, That was weird. <laughs> I think that was a, a marketing thing, right? Like on the poster, it looked like they were all boys. And mm. then they showed you that the protagonist, well, one of the main characters, mm. that's the powerful one, is mm. actually a girl. Yeah. I think it was just supposed to be a twist or a surprise yeah. there. Um, but I don't think the gender made any difference in this show. Like whether no, 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 no. I didn't say it was no, no. As in, what I meant is, it could have been either. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Well, I, I just uh, like, I just, I just, I just wanted to say it was like, um, it was. It's really hard to tell when when a kid is fourteen and uh, how much you actually 
um, use uh, external, other external things to, 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 to tell whether a, 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 a person of that age is a female or male. Because, it's like a baby. Yeah, you can't because, tell whether a baby is yeah, a boy but, or a girl. But, but you think like, oh, 14, yeah, you sure. Because you, you imagine 14-year-old girls, you see them in dresses and, and you see them playing with, you know, like whatever, like or yeah, acting really... Uh, just have long hair. Yeah, but like I, I, it never occurs to you that you actually based a lot of... Cues. Cues on, on your external factors. And if you take away all that, it's very difficult to tell. Yeah. No, I could I could understand. Like, yeah. uh, and I was like, un- until they specifically pointed out that it was a girl, I was like, oh, I did not that. And actually, I found it really awkward when they did put the wig on her. I was like, that looks really aw- awkward now. I think it's because she's not blonde. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, right. It's like, that looks really awkward on her. I don't know why. I think that's supposed to. <laughs> that it's supposed to, right? <laughs> <laughs> if there was um anything that both me and Serena uh really didn't like <laughs> of this show, oh uh, well, really didn't like is a is a is a strong word. I, it was just very it was uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. It was the the romance between Mike and Elle like? It's fine to have an awkward crush. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> it's fine when when Lucas was saying to was was accusing uh, Mike, you're only on her side because, you know, you like the, you know, there's a girl that doesn't find you gross, right? <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Okay. The 14 year old, you, you have crushes. That's fine. But did they have to have that kiss scene? I know, right? Like that just felt so mm. awkward and, and it wasn't necessary. Like it wasn't necessary for the story. Okay. For people who haven't watched Fantastic Beast yet, Pause and or fast forward like fifteen seconds. Even in Fantastic Beasts, they didn't kiss, <laughs> and they're like thirty something. The <laughs> idea was because they were awkward, and it just didn't make sense. Yeah, this is a show. They're fourteen. Yeah. they're awkward. They shouldn't, they shouldn't kiss. Make, yeah, it shouldn't. Yeah, and like, what what fourteen year would would like? Even if the fourteen year did like the girl. It w- would kissing her be what comes into his mind? Like, <laughs> I'm not a four- I was never a fourteen year old boy. <laughs> it wouldn't come in my mind. Just put it that way. <laughs> like, yeah, you probably want to be close to her. You probably want to spend time, spend time or, or you probably would get, you know, peck on the cheek. Yeah, at most. Like, anyway, but kissing on a on like on the list was just very awkward when I watched it. And I was like, "What did?" You know? Although, although we probably need to remember, this is an American show. We grew up in Australia. There could be a cultural difference here, really, or a generation difference. Ugh. These these kids are essentially fourteen years older than us, supposedly. <laughs> right? It's a different generation. They're a little bit more mature. I don't know. I yeah, but. I had a problem with that. <laughs> Didn't like it. it. It's the 80s. I mean, they had bullies here who had switchblades. Oh, that was the other thing. Like, why would... I, I felt that that whole part was a bit overdone. Uh, in a sense, it was a bit overboard. Uh-huh. Um, like, sure, you, I mean, you have bullies in, you know, whichever era, which yep. is fine. But they're still kids. Like, unless you're talking about, like, uh, unless you're saying that that kid is going to become a psychopath. Well, no. Okay, think about it this way. Will, when he would... No, uh, yeah. When Will was threatened by that monster at the start of the show, he ran home, mm. he went into the shed, yeah, and he pulled out a gun. Yes. So, it's the 80s, right? 80s when kids could ride home alone on a bike at 8 p.m. Yeah. With not a problem. When 14-year-olds know where the gun is, where the <laughs> bullets are, and how to reload it. So, for a 14-year-old kid to have a switchblade in Hawkins, perhaps that's normal. But they but they actually went to the point where they threatened to... They, they, they told him to jump off a cliff. Well, it was supposed to go into water. It was very tall. Yes, that okay, is that, true. That, no, the thing is, even if they were 14-year-old kids, they would still know if that person did jump... It wouldn't be likely that even if he did survive, it would, he'll yeah. be in very, very bad shape. Bad shape. I don't think a fourteen-year-old would go to that point. Like, I, I don't know. I, I personally never. Oh well, well, no, no, not have I. But like, you, I, no, I, I as just, in, I've never heard of it in my in my school. Yeah. That kind of like, no, like you have 
bullying and you have things that go overboard, but this is taking it to a whole different level, like in, in, in the sense that like you have to, and, and the thing that, and that's the problem I have. It doesn't show the progression. It, it shows them being bullies at school where they just give him a push, shove mm, him yeah. on the ground to, to suddenly this. Well, but the whole point was because they never fought back, right? Yeah. Right? They always just took it. Right, so these bullies never had to face up with this humiliation of like wetting their pants mm. in front of the whole school. It could have broke them. Yeah, we don't know, right? Yeah, I don't know. I I felt that kind of. I didn't think that was that well written in the sense that I I felt that was too forced and yeah. and that it went a bit over. But like you can have the same effect without going to that extent. Like I I felt like they they could still have done. And given that same effect, without base, without them basically threatening to kill them, like well, they really wanted to show off her powers. Yeah, and, and that's the thing that that's what they were doing. That's the whole point of that scene was right. to show she can levitate him. Ta da! <laughs> so, uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I just didn't like that one. But I, what I did really, oh, although I can see what other people might not like this part, is the fact that. Nancy yep. in the show yep. actually doesn't get together with the older brother. Uh with Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. Like No, no, I, I like, like that. She too, she yeah. she actually goes back at the end of the uh show with Steve. With Steve. Um because Steve does kind of redeems himself. Yeah, you yeah, know, no, I, he I think was he did. Yeah, he was a douchebag and he was very insensitive at the start, but he he did redeem himself at the at the final yeah. Episode. He he really, you know. He stood up to his friends. Yeah. Um. I I like the fact how he, she didn't end up with like everyone kind of expects it now that you know he's yeah, it, out of the picture. They're gonna you know kind yeah. of be if, together. If, if she went with Jonathan, I would have been kind of disappointed because it'd be like, wow, that's such a cliche. Yeah, I know, right? Like it, it would be like uh, totally like. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> it made more sense. I, I mean, it was a pleasant surprise. I mean, even though Steve was a little bit douchey, it was a pleasant surprise that they were back together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because at that moment when he walked in on them in Jonathan's house yeah. and he saw and he saw them with a gun and a bat. Yeah. Like when he saw how Nancy was hurt, yeah. his first instinct was, did Jonathan do this to you? Right? Yeah, he was yeah, protective. Yeah. And then when he found out that there was a monster and he was told to run hmm. and then he made that decision to go back in. Yeah. I was like... Yeah. You redeemed yourself in my <laughs> eyes. You really did. Um, and I mean, Jonathan was always a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah unfortunately. Well, that's uh, that's his character though. Like I, I mean, I don't think his character would be too weird if he lived in the two in, in the now, current world, yeah. like 2016. Yeah. Um, you know, sensitive soul, photographer, you know, that kind of thing. He'd probably be <laughs> we'll probably have girls flocking over him if it was flipping in this day and age <laughs> I don't know I don't, I don't know, know. He, needs to get, he needs to cut his hair uh, but, but in the 80s I think uh, in, the, in the era where men were supposed to be men and they go to work and they come home and they don't know anything about their life like Mike's dad who is <laughs> his a worst comical character, character. Yeah. Um, you know when that's the kind of man you're supposed to be and if you're not you're kind of queer and, and that was the question. That was the phrase that they used, right? That mm. both Mike, uh, no, sorry, that both Will and Jonathan they were a bit weird, mm. queer because they weren't manly men. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, could, I, I would have felt a bit weird if he went with Nancy. <laughs> I want to talk about Barbara. Okay. Because, like, what do you think of her as a character? Because she died really early yeah. on yeah. well she went missing very <laughs> early on and then you find out that she died yeah and um if there was one thing in this show um it, it reminded me a little bit of game of thrones in a way mm -hmm. because uh characters aren't sacred in mm. a way i mean sure that the main characters are like i wouldn't it's not like game of thrones in the way that um mike would be killed yeah, you know, or Will will die. I mm. I never expected that, but in the sense that when Eleven first, when you first saw her, um, you know, interacting with anyone, when she ran in, ran into the um, 
the diner yep. and the chef or owner owner mm. took her in. Um, you know, I thought he was going to be one of the characters that stayed. Mm. And he was there for, what, 15 minutes and then get shot in the head. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, okay. And then you have Nancy's best friend who is such a down-to-earth kind of girl. Like, mm. she, she, she really looked after Nancy in a way and yeah. not in the way that, um, you know, she... She she says to Nancy, "You're going to be popular now because you're dating Steve." Mm. But it, she never said it in a very uh, in a jealous way or anything. Yeah, 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 like no. it's not like she wanted to be popular no. or anything. If anything, she said it in the way like, "Oh, you're going to be popular." Like, you know, popular is not a good thing. <laughs> um, uh, but she dies. <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, okay. I I think I think it's the fact that she. I just if she was down to earth, she was looking after Nancy, especially at that point where Nancy was kind of losing a bit. Of she her... was a bit of a, well, not a bitch, but you know she. Well, she was actually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's your best friend, you know, telling you, oh, I'm, I don't feel comfortable, and she's going, oh no, just you know, just go All home. Right, go home. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, have like, sex. Yeah. Just don't get in my way. <laughs> go home. Um. Yeah, like you, you kind of feel uh, you feel sorry for her that yeah. that this happened to her. Yeah, like that because she wouldn't yeah, have been. So, there's something about the show, isn't it? Like these nice people, <laughs> both the per- the guy who took her took L L in <laughs> and fed her, he gets shot in the head, and this you know faithful, loyal best friend, she gets eaten by the monster. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing that gets eaten by the monster is that deer that got run over by a car. <laughs> yeah, There's a theme in this show. <laughs> don't be nice and don't be don't be a good friend because it's not going to end well for you. <laughs> yeah, unless you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible message to be giving to people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, it was it was sad that that Barbara died because, in some way, it was because of of well, it was kind of because of her, right? Because <laughs> she wouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah, and she wouldn't <laughs> be sitting out on the on alone. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in the pool. <laughs> in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought she would be able to get away when she was climbing out of that yeah. pool. And it's, especially when they showed you that she was running and, and running, you kind yeah. of felt like, oh, she's going to... You, you you kind of assume, assume that she'll be like Will and they'll, they'll be Me, hiding. In, in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, in some respect, I kind of like, oh, so she's going to have her part with Will in, in the... In the under, in the other side, yeah. uh, upside down, upside, in the upside down, like they're gonna have their own kind of storyline going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, she just dies. That's kind of like, oh, but actually, there's a lot of question about the upside down, to be honest. Um, and they don't answer it, and there's no way we'll know. Probably mm. in season two, they'll talk about it. But when L first entered upside down, it was like all black. There was mm. nothing there. Yeah, and then. We don't know what it looked like when Will was there. Like Will did say it looked like home. Yeah. Um. But when we saw uh, Barbara in there, it was like the same place yeah. as as the the swimming pool, except yeah. it was empty. Yeah. And then when the chief and jo- Joyce went in, it was like the whole town, right? Yeah. There was cars and yeah. all that stuff. So it makes me wonder: Did these things show up after the portal was open? Hmm. And and also like questions like: Was the monster? able to travel to our world at any time or was it only after L uh, broke L opened the portal yeah right um because it didn't seem like the the monster needed to use that portal hmm. it could go anywhere yeah um so it was, it, it, and, and it's interesting like because uh the, the the scientists uh mentioned that oh uh how about how i ch- trying to you know track the monster is that oh it still needs to feed you know it, it needs to eat right yeah. so uh, how if, did it eat before? Exactly. It's like, if that never opened, how did it feed itself if there was nothing there? So, yeah. It, it, I mean, to be fair, I, I don't think it's necessary, though, to, to, to answer, answer that, all these yeah, questions yeah. because... It's not going to be a satisfactory no, answer. No, there's no way you're going to be like, oh, that makes perfect sense because it's not supposed no. to make perfect yeah, sense, yeah. right? Um, but I... Yeah, I, I, I get the whole point about, you know, the town looking like the town in the upside down just different like i, I get I, I like that though like i like that oh no okay it made sense to me that the swimming pool was empty mm. um but i was listening to another podcast and they mentioned something interesting um when uh 
the sheriff and Joyce was going through the town, mm-hmm. there were parked cars. Yeah. Were there reflections of parked cars in the real world? <laughs> and if the person moves their parked car, does the parked car move? In the, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't yeah. know, right? But it, it's just... It, but it makes sense because um, that's how Will was saying it's like home, but not home, yeah, right? Yeah. So he was actually in the house that was looks that looks like his house, or the the camping, or the, the camp- house, the the, the the castle, the, yeah, the, the castle. safe house or yeah. whatever he made himself. Um, and that's how he can still communicate because he was still there. He was yeah. there, but he just can't get to her, right? <laughs> like, I wonder whether these things were populated by the people who go in. What do you mean? Like, there was no town before the townspeople went in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's how they, they project like, their... Elle never knew what the town looked like, yeah. so it's black. Yeah. She, couldn't, she couldn't put things in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then when Will went in... Yeah, he, he beca- saw his castle because that's what he... Yeah, or saw yeah. his house. Or like, yeah. you know, it, it, this is all theory. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. And, <laughs> yeah. and season two may or may not answer it, which, I mean, I think it's about time we talk about the ending. Yes. Um... Two main big questions that are left unanswered in the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, we have little Will. He's back at home and it's Christmas and <laughs> having dinner. And he goes to the bathroom and he regurgitates little worm-like things. And Slimy slug. And then for a split moment, he's back in the under, uh, upside down. Upside down. <laughs> but then suddenly it's all back to normal. Yes. And, and he decides not to tell his parents, uh, his mother or his brother, because if there's one thing we learned about in the show is keeping <laughs> secrets is a good idea. <laughs> well, it means if you keep secrets, you don't get eaten by the monster, right? <laughs> but, yeah. So the question is, you know, what do you think it's happening? Hmm. Yeah. He's turning into a monster. Is he getting infected? Is he... <laughs> He may not even be Will at all. Oh. He may be a doppelganger to begin with. <laughs> uh, we don't know. Look, um, he'll be infected. I, I, I think he's an incubator, right? <laughs> like aliens. It's something that just <laughs> pop out of his chest. And... <laughs> it could be that. It could be that, and that would explain why out he's he doesn't tell anyone. He, well, possibly. Uh, no, I was thinking that's probably more reason why he was never killed in in the first place. Oh right! In the in the upside down, that was one of the thing I I had trouble was like, you see all these other people that are taken into the upside down and they die. Yes, but somehow Will was the only one that got taken in, but. Because Man, he's very good at hiding. They mentioned that in episode one. He's very good at yeah, hiding. I, I have I have trouble. It was like yeah, yeah you're very good at hiding, but you get taken in by this. This being that deliberately took you there, right? You, yeah. you think he'll be able and then to find you. And at the end, he gets captured by the monster, but he's not killed. Yeah, he's not killed. Even then, like he's only put into this thing that's in his mouth. And oh, so, God. Oh, God, that's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, so so it makes sense that he probably is the incubator for a thing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so that's the first big questionnaire. That actually, we have. I actually heard somewhere before that the reason why he never told his parents, like his mother, mm. was probably like, this is Christmas, right? So supposedly weeks hey, or probably a month uh, after everything's passed, mm. he might have had bad dreams, right? Or he uh, might have seen, he. this might not have been the first instance yeah, where yeah, this yeah, happened, right? Yeah. And he probably have told them, I just saw it, right? Mm. And people would have probably told him, it's just a bad dream. Yeah. You know, it's over. Yeah. yeah it's, it, it doesn't, it's, it's yeah. closed, right? Yeah. And he might believe them and that's why he won't tell them because... Mm. He thinks it's actually a, just a, a bad. bad dream. Yeah. yeah, so it could be that. Could be that. Yeah, that explains. But the second, second uh, big thing is what happened to L. Da 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 da. No, not what happened to L. That uh, that is that is a that is a question. No, no, no. That wasn't the question I was thinking. Okay, of. well, is when the chief leaves the waffles in the forest at the end. Oh, right. Does he know? <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. The question is whether L is still alive. Mm. But does the chief know? Yeah. Because did he accept something from the government? Well, you might, yeah. well the thing that is, you know, he has, he did leave with them. At yeah. The end, so he must have done something. He must have been told something, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, what does he know now? We, yeah. yeah so is he leaving those waffles because he knows she's going to be there eating? Or is it something like... He's it's leaving for... there for like, hopefully, if she's still around, this will help. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It's just another question. Yeah. 
Don't know. Um, in in saying that, um, what do you think about season two? What you mean? What hopes I have for season mm. two? Uh, let, let me just first say this. I I'm a bit worried that mm. there is a season two of this. I actually think they should have just left it um, with these questions hanging. Kind of like a 90s or an 80s horror. Yeah, because of, yeah. The, the the thing is, um, one of the... like If it was going in that theme of sci-fi horror in the, in the 80s, it's not supposed to have this complete perfect ending. It's yeah. supposed to have that last bit that kind of makes you go, oh, 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 is that... They didn't win. Yeah, yeah like, like you, you want to have that, oh, everything seems perfect, but... Oh, oh, like it, it needs that would have been really good in the sense that it gave you that little, I'm not chill. so sure, like chill, like the tingling in your in yeah. the back, and like, oh, maybe that's not that great anymore, but yeah. you don't know. But because everything seems perfect, so yeah, that would have been really good. And I would have liked it if they did yeah. stop it there because then it, it, it gave you the imagination to kind of, oh, what if kind of own. And it gave you that that kind of chill factor. Yeah. And it, and it, 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 at the end of the day, it is still a bit of a sci-fi horror. Like it needs to have that fear in in, in, the, in, end. in, the, in the end. Well, okay, that's, this is the problem, right? This isn't a movie. Mm. This is a TV show. Mm. And as much as TV shows and movies are starting to overlap each other now, mm. there's still a thing with TV show not willing to end with one season. Yeah. It's yeah. like Once Upon a Time. It really should have ended in one season. I I liked season three. <laughs> Which one was season three? Was that Peter Pan? Yes. Oh, I hated that season. I, I love season. I I like the twist at the end, <laughs> but ah. Uh, oh, anyway, different show. Different show. Talking about a different show now. Um. Okay. No. No. no I like Rumpelstiltskin, <laughs> and and he didn't show up enough in this in season three. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what we're saying? Let's see, the show should finish uh, 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 in one dozen, season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the second thing is, the kid actors—they're mm. not fourteen, right? Mm. They're what, like sixteen, fifteen, whatever. I actually don't know what the age I is. I don't know what the age is, but I'm assuming that they're going through growth spurt. Yeah, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be funny how they—they—they they, they might look a bit older. Mm. In that sound two. a bit older. That's the—that's the, that's the uh, main thing. Yeah, looking is not the bad. It's not the hard part. Sound, sound is the hard part because if they break their voice, yeah. then that's going to be really hard to explain in a show. Well, no, you. What I was thinking was that the sh- story might have to jump, yeah, two years, yeah. you know, to fit their age. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I was he- I was. There's things I've read where people are like, "Oh, probably season two is about." The name is Stranger Things, right? Mm. It doesn't have to. It it doesn't mention these people by name. Could be different. A no, complete the, different cast. No, the same cast are being used. They oh, I haven't read anything. Oh, yeah, okay. they were mentioned as the same cast. So even L. Yeah, oh. L was the L was the one of them that everyone was wanting to see if she was going to come back. So that's yeah, why she yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she's going to come back now. <laughs> you see, okay. I didn't do my research. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the the other reason why I'm a bit apprehensive about season two, two. um is because. Season one plays on a lot of the whole homage to the eighties. Yes, plays a lot on the imagery of the eighties. The yes. whole they've done all that now. Yes. They've shown all that to us. It's all and the cereal boxes have been shown. Yeah, the beer bottles. So if they do it again in next season, would it work? Because then you mm. kind of feel like, well, then it's just a rehashing of the same thing. And Mad it, Men it, went for seven seasons. I have never watched Mammoth, so I don't know. <laughs> we sh- you should watch it. I don't. I don't like the premise of the show, but anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I I don't know how it's gonna work. Will it look if they if they if the writing is good, then it may be perfectly fine. Mm. Um, I just don't know. I because I think one of the reasons why this show works so well was because they have that old eighties atmosphere. atmosphere, and it brought people back to that nostalgic feel feel to it. Yeah. That's already been done. Yeah. So unless it two does something different or unless it's very well written, I don't see it. Well, it also doesn't help that the end of season one, you pretty much came back to the same situation at the start of season one, right? Mm. L was, you know, if, if season two starts, it's like what L comes out from the other, the alternative, uh, the upside, upside down, down. <laughs> and bad things happen. Isn't that like, the same as season one. Yeah, like, like what, what's different about it? Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I, I have my uh, uh, reservations. reservations about season two. I, I, I'll watch it definitely because I really enjoyed season one. Mm. Um, I just, just not a hundred percent sure I wanted a season two because uh, so I, I thought it would have been much better if it just finished as a one season thing. Oh, and and or if it, there was a season two, have a completely different story. Yeah, I would also be fine with that. Yeah, the fact that now that I, we know that the same actors are you. Are used again. Well, to be fair, they could still use the same actors and be a different story. Oh me. God! But that would just be very confusing, though. Yes. So I don't think that's going to happen either. <laughs> we normally wrap up the show by asking what we're currently watching. Yeah. So what have you currently been watching? Uh, so right now, at this very minute, um, I'm watching a TV show called Designated Survivors. No, actually, right now you are watching Black Mirror. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was only oh, true. <laughs> but what I have been watching currently is Designated Survivors. Mm-hmm. Uh, brilliant show. Loved it. Um, it's really funny because uh, the main character is uh, played by Kiefer Sutherland, who's the main character for 24. Oh, I never watched Twenty Four. I never watched Twenty Four, and I really, and I no, I, I've watched bits of Twenty Four, yeah. and I never liked it. Okay, I never liked him. Okay, I always thought, why do people like him in the show? He's, he's okay. weird. I, 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 okay. I never liked him as a as as that character. Okay, yeah. um, but when I watched him in this one, I was like, he's really good. <laughs> like, I was like, okay. I was like, I like you in this. This is this is great. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, it's really funny. Like, I, I presume um, people who probably want to watch this ever either would have watched 24 previously and, okay. and, and watch him in this. But it's very different. He plays a very different character. Oh, okay. He plays a very different role. But I think he actually does this one very well. Okay. Um, anyway, I, how I, there's eight, was it eight seasons of 24? Yeah. He should be doing that role pretty good too, right? Well, everyone likes him in that one. Okay. I, I just... Personally, I maybe I'm also not that big fan of that type of uh, oh, okay. story, so maybe that's why I just didn't like that TV okay. show in 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 general. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy watching him in this. Like, he was, I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, I, I I it's I, on my list. Yeah, it's on my list. I highly recommend it to people if they do want to watch something. And it, it's only nine episodes or ten episodes i think mm-hmm. although it's not all out on netflix at the moment so i'm still waiting for the final few episodes so <laughs> i probably I couldn't, won't start. i couldn't binge watch this damn it <laughs> i probably won't start watching this until all the episodes yeah. are out um and i think yeah they're having they're doing a second season as well for this one okay um but yeah i i, I really enjoy it so that's anyway so that's what i've been watching recently what about you um because it's me, I don't just watch one thing. Uh, I've recently finished watching The Crown, which is about um, Queen Elizabeth II, like our current, our current queen, yes, mm-hmm. Australia, our yes, our current queen, queen um, during her early years. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I have to admit that the reason why I I'm, I watched the show <laughs> was because I saw that Matt Smith was in it, and I'm like, oh, Doctor Who, <laughs> and he's playing Prince Philip. That's gonna be so strange. I enjoy watching him immensely in this show. Um, there is gonna be a second season, and. Uh, yeah, I, I kept on watching this show thinking, how much of it is real? Like, and I wasn't, I never knew much, like, history. Mm. Um, so, uh, the only thing I knew was about her father, like, Queen El- uh, Elizabeth II's father, because I watched um, King's Speech, mm, yep. and I really enjoyed that movie. Yep. So, it was interesting to see how that story kind of followed on, in a way. Yeah. So, so I, was, I was watching that, mm-hmm. finished that. Uh, I am st- currently still watching Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, still watching because there's just so many episodes and it's not something that, well, I am binge watching it, but there's so much of what the nineties that you can, you can put up with. Mm -hmm. I I actually watched Star Trek the original prior to that. I couldn't watch every, I couldn't watch all of it. I had to look on the website to see which episodes to watch because I couldn't stand the, 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 it is pretty dated. (laughs) Yeah, it was. So I'm still doing Star Trek, the next generation. Uh, I recently finished The Expanse, uh, both the TV series and the first two books. Mm. Um, and yesterday, I finished watching a Japanese animation called Your Name. And 
we mentioned that. that's going to be our actual next topic. <laughs> yes, and I mentioned that because, yes, we are going to be talking about that in our next episode in a month's time. No, more than a month's more time. More than a month's time. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm very busy <laughs> for this period because for my next, I think, what, six weekends, I'm studying every single weekend. Yes. I have class every single weekend. It's not fun. So I have no time. <laughs> well, this episode most likely won't be posted until December. Yeah. But we won't be th- recording in December. So next episode probably be late January. Jan- yeah. Later. Well, we'll try to make it early Jan. Yeah. Try well, we'll it record early. it in early Jan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um. So your name, it's a Japanese animation currently showing in cinemas in Australia right now uh, for you people who aren't in Australia <laughs> or who didn't watch it while it was in Australia, um, we'll try and find some links where we could get them. Yeah. Uh, very shortly, um, it's an anime about uh, a uh, teenage... La, 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 la. <laughs> no, no, no. This is... You can know this one. A teenage boy and a teenage girl, they swap bodies when they dream. Yes. That That's... Well, that's Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's like the briefest summary yeah. And it's what's on the yeah I know <laughs> it's what's on the trailers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the reason why one reason why we I actually want to do this apart from the fact that Serena's already watched it, um, it's actually what well, I think it was like one of the highest grossing anime films in I Japan. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, it had great reviews, and everyone who watched it has said that it was like one of the best films they've, they've watched. So, I'm like. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. So, in saying that, we are going to do that for our next podcast. So, mm. if you get the chance, please go and watch this show. Now, for... <laughs> um, uh, we're giving you... We're giving you heads up. What early are we going, warning. Early warning to what we're going to do for the podcast after that. <laughs> because it's not a short book. And if you're <laughs> anything like Peter, you might need two months to finish it. Um, so, if anyone remember from our first episode... Uh, Peter mentioned one of his favorite uh, authors was Matthew Riley. So he has challenged me to read the first book. Yes. Ta da. <laughs> um, seven Ancient Wonders, or if you're in America, it's Seven Deadly Wonders for some unknown reason. America has to have their own titles, <laughs> different titles. I don't know why it's the case, but it's. They chose Donald Trump. Okay, look, we're not. We're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I am so sorry. I shouldn't mention politics here, but yes. you know, you may want to cut that out. Just saying, <laughs> I'm not going to cut that out because it's it's historical. Okay, I'm not going to comment any more than that. About the fact, apart from the fact that some people have voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, um. Yes, uh, Matthew Riley. You are fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop it, Serena. I'm sorry. We're trying to wrap up here. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Matthew Riley, one of my favorite authors. Um, I'm getting Serena to read Seven Ancient Wonders, partly also because I've read it before, so it's not going to take me that long to reread <laughs> it. <laughs> um, and secondly, it's because I do think that's probably one of his um be- best books. Okay. Um. Although a lot of people do prefer his other series, The Scarecrow, um, I actually like this current series a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, we will do that um, probably in February. February. So mm. uh, give people plenty of time to read the book if mm. they want. Mm. Um, Unfortunately, it's a, it, there's no Whisper Sync version of this. You can either get the ebook or the audiobook. You can't get both. Yes. Um, it's, uh, I think, this was published a while ago, though, so it's not a particularly new one. The insane that his newest book, um, The Four Legendary Kingdoms, has just been released, which I have sitting next to me right now, this very minute, which I'm dying to delve into it. Um, this is the fourth book, uh, third, fourth, 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 fourth book in the series. So I'm getting Serene to read the first one now, which we will talk about. I currently have probably. six audiobooks sitting in my queue waiting for me to read. Mm. And you're going to make me read Matthew Riley instead. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now <laughs> we should wrap up. Um, uh, to wrap up, um, I should mention all the ways that you could find us. So we have Twitter, uh, email, and website. Essentially, they're all Trigger Point FM. So Trigger Point 
triggerpointfm at gmail.com is our email address. Triggerpointfm.com is our website. Um, at triggerpointfm is our Twitter. And now you can find us on YouTube. Uh, we can't have a customized URL because we do not have 100 subscribers. <laughs> uh, so you have to actually search for us by our name, Trigger Point Podcast. If you want us to have a URL that you can easily search subscribe um <laughs> if we get 100 subscribers i could <laughs> i could apply for a customized url <laughs> i actually didn't know that <laughs> i didn't know that either <laughs> there you go so how much we go on youtube <laughs> i'm learning all about youtube <laughs> fantastic um so yes um you can find us on all great podcasting applications itunes overcast uh, Podbean, all, all sorts of... It's even on Google Music or something, um, which you have to pay for, strangely enough. <laughs> but yeah, you can find us in all those ways and plenty more. Uh, leave us a comment, send us an email, let us know what you like or not like. Uh, let us know what kind of recommendations you want us to read or watch or listen to. Um, Again, we're open to suggest uh, suggestions. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time... Until next time then. Mm. Bye. Bye, everyone.